I'm going to show you how to beat Becky the Bride in that island too. Now, I'm going to show you the actual fight and how to fight this person, but also going to show you a cheese mechanic that I didn't do in the fight that I'm going to show you uh, in order to make it a little bit easier. So the intended way I think to do it, which is not what I did, is I think to use this wire. Now, you might have seen this wire and not known what was going on, like why it won't shock. Like anyone who stands under it starts getting shocked. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab a water can. There's one um, over there. I think there's one, yeah, right there. I think that's one unless it's broken. I think it's a broken one. Well, either way, there's a water can over there. And you don't want it to get blown up or else it's going to be tough afterwards. And you can always also exit the main menu, come back in to restore water cans, I think. Anyway, uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to, while fighting Becky the Bride, you're going to look forward to get this away from yourself and just pour it all over the area underneath of this. And then you're going to try to bait Becky the Bride to stand over here and then just like, you know, walk away and then get near, walk away, have her swing at you. Try to get her to stay in this area until she um, gets shocked. Once she, once they stand out long enough, they get shocked. And if you have water on the ground, then it will actually shock the entire area. I can do it myself, actually. So I can show you here. But if I have water on the ground, if I get shocked all the way, it turns it into an entire ground, you know, shock area. Uh, another thing you can do is there are fuel cans in here that you can also um, throw on the ground and then you can uh, explode them like that. Uh, and then I think there's two, I think one's already gone because this video right now is right after the fight. Um, but I think there's a second one over there and if you get to them fast enough, you can actually start a fire and then you can hold the fuel jerry can and just look at like up like this and just like spray it down and just walk around and cause fire to be everywhere. That's another option. You could try to go that way too. Uh, but either way, um, I'm going to show you my actual fight with Becky the Bride because you can actually just fight her legitimately uh, depending on what class you are, what character you are. It's going to be different for every character. In my case, I have the one that has this dodge ability. If you know the dodge ability, you can do hit and run tactics by like get, running up to her and then running away and she'll bait. It'll bait her into attacking. And then you run and swing and it would take forever, but you can do it. But either way, I'm just going to show you my actual fight with her. But those are all the mechanics that I'm aware of in order to make it easier. And you can just do any combination of those things in order to be Becky the Bride. Start the fight with Bridezilla or Becky the Bride. So when they do that, you jump. And then other than that, you just swing on them. And one thing that's really tough, though, is if you have a slow swinging weapon, then it's hard to, you know, not get hit. Also, I think not every class has the dodge, do they? But you can always just go in for a swipe and then just run. Wait for them to attack and then go for a swipe and then run if you really, you know, need to. Like, you can just sprint away afterwards. So here, let me pop one of these. So yeah, you can um, wait for a swing and then you can swing and then run. If you really, really, you know, need to, you can just bait out a swing and then run. Uh, but in my case, since I have the dodge, I can just swing on the person and then dodge. Although it's a lot easier if I could take my fists out. But uh, one trick you can do if you need to, if you're playing the same character as me, is I can just put all these weapons away and then I can use my fists which is actually way better for this fight for this particular character because now I can do what I can do is just punch the person and now I can just dodge whenever I want so that makes it like super easy with this character at least <laughs> even though I still gotta react though All right, got on the ground. Now we're gonna go to stage two. Now stage two, uh, the fire cans are nice if you wanna use them just to deal with the other zombies. But it's up to you which way you wanna do it. Whoops. If you get them to fight under that little pole, or that not pole, that wire, then they'll take continuous lightning damage. So that's one option.
kick doesn't do any damage, I think, so. Which is good, because it's the hardest one to dodge. Maybe it does a little bit of damage. Also, you can throw the meat bait down if you want. Try to get the little guys to leave you alone. So they'll respect the 1v1. So there you go. That's a Becky the Bride. That's how to beat Becky the Bride. And then after that, I think you still got to clean up any of the ones that are still here. There you have it. Hopefully between the first part and second part of this video, hopefully that gives you enough tips and advice on how to beat Becky the Bride. For this stage of the game, she's a little overtuned in that she just has so much HP. Like if you came here at level like 20 and you have way more tools at your disposal, she wouldn't be nearly as bad. But because of how the game is and how they like, I don't know, set you up and stuff for this, it's just basically she's just a bullet sponge is the problem. That's really the big problem with her because after this point in the game, uh, you'll start seeing enemies that have the exact same attack pattern as her, just normally out in the world. And they're not a big deal once you get to where they're not bullet sponges. Like, yeah, you get hit a couple times here and there if you mess up, but then they go down in a reasonable amount of time. The only thing that makes it so hard is that you literally have to beat on this person for so long if you come here early game without doing tons of random leveling, like, which most people, most people at this point, you're not going to just stop and go kill zombies for an hour or two. So, you know, at this point, everyone's going to be level four or five. And level four or five, she just is so tanky that it just takes forever to get through her. But uh, I think really my my biggest thing after doing it and watching it and doing it twice and stuff is I really, really think the game developers intended for us to abuse this wire right here and just try to, you know, dance her around underneath of that, which is why they even call it, call it Dance with the Bride or something like that. It's because I think they're wanting you to try to dance her around to this in order to get her shocked. That and also, you know, the fuel cans, I think, are really, really good if you look away. If you look at your feet, the only way to use these, if you do want to use these, by the way, uh, I feel like they have potential to make this fight easy, but you just got to know, you got to look up. If you look down, they pour right at your feet, and it doesn't really, it, like, you'll catch yourself on fire. It's really hard to use them. But if you look forward in doing this, you can actually just walk backwards, and then it, the mechanic actually works correctly, and you see it leaves a, a solid trail wherever you go. And I think that would probably be the easiest way to dance with the bride, is you just walk around like this, and if she runs at you, then you just run away for a second and then just keep on dancing around these. Because this will literally, you can do an infinite amount of fuel with these. So you just got to, if there's two in here at the start, I'm pretty sure. And you can just, um, you know, ignite one by exploding it and then use the other one to pour. If there were two. If there's not two, then never mind. But I could have sworn there were two in here. But either way, yeah, that's another useful tool that you can use. Oh, and even if there is not another one, you actually can activate fire with the electric shock. So you can, any way you start a shock on it will start the initial fire. So you don't have to lose the fuel can to start the fire. So that's actually, you know, that could be what they also intend for you to do. And then another thing that I realized only just now is there's all these um, lights up here. And you can, in fact, throw a weapon at them, have them explode on top of the bride. Not sure how much damage that will do to her, but you can also play with that and see if that also helps you get through her a little bit more easily. There's also the fire extinguishers, which I don't think really do anything. So uh, there's a lot of random tools in this room that, that I think they intended for you to use. But even then, she's such a bullet sponge. It's still just a grind to get through her regardless. Well, either way, hopefully this video helped you out. I, I gave everything I could as far as tips and things for her in order to make the fight easier for you. So hopefully now you have a better idea of how to beat Becky the Bride in Dead Island 2.